First of all, fake news has been used in very different ways. Today, the most common use is by Trump himself, essentially to describe any media he doesn't like. The original meaning focused on Facebook entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs using Facebook advertising to essentially draw attention to themselves with flashy headlines and gain the benefit of um, uh, gain the benefit of advertising. We should think about them in the news environment the way we think about spam in email. Spam is a problem, but it's a marginal problem. You don't say email is for spam and then it's a little bit more of that. So I think it's critically important to understand fake news in this narrow clickbait on Facebook sense as a spam problem. I think we're already somewhat limiting it, but I think all of the evidence points to the fact that those clickbait sites were not the primary source of confusion and loss of orientation uh, in the American public. There is certainly a threat to democracy, but the primary threats to democracy are not from communications, but from basic culture, political culture and structure. From the Philippines and Duterte to Trump, from Bolsonaro to Orban and Erdogan, we're seeing dramatic challenges to democracy around the world. These are not driven by media. These are driven by deep economic insecurity and identity threat. So the first thing we need to do is not allow our attention to focus so heavily on communications technology that we ignore the fundamental underlying dynamics. But there are things we can do discreetly and uh, in the near future that have to do with making sure that we have real transparency, real accountability, and real responsibility on the part of the platforms. In the United States, this has to particularly take the, the focus on regulating advertising. There's a very clear proposal on the table that political advertising online will be transparent, will be in a searchable database so that people can be accountable. We need to make sure that expands to sock puppet and grassroots uh, um, astroturf type arrangements. Those things can be regulated and should be regulated. Diff each country, however, has its own particular challenges. In some countries, it's more WhatsApp. In others, it's more YouTube. And it's important that every country, when it tries to understand what it's going to do for the next election, not be caught up in one country, even if it's the US, and how things work there, but needs to fund research to understand its own media ecosystem, and what the most important interventions are in its own media ecosystem. Sciences Po.